Sean Hannity spoke about Black Lives Matter on his show this week, and he made an incredible comparison. Not just Democratic candidates pledging their support to the Black Lives Matter movement at the debate, but that doesn't appear to be enough for this radical movement. They're now demanding an opportunity of their very own presidential debate. And according to The Washington Post, the DNC is reportedly allowing the, quote, Black Lives Matter group to host a presidential town hall. Really? Here with reaction, CRN, KR, LA, radio host Larry Elder, Fox News political analyst Juan Williams. So let me get this. Your Democratic Party... Um, not, not all lives matter, black lives matter. Your Democratic Party is going to allow the pigs in a blanket, fryer like bacon group to, to host a, a Democratic forum? What's wrong with your party? What, don't you find that? Why don't you let the Klan host a party? Talking about killing cops, fry them like bacon? I loved Juan Williams' face at the end there. He's like, what? <laughs> Dude, really? Really? Now, we've spoken about on the show before uh, when at one Black Lives Matter uh, protest, you had people saying, pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon, talking about cops. We did a segment on that. And we said very clearly, no, that's not okay. Don't do that. Violent rhetoric is unacceptable. Violence is unacceptable. You guys know I'm a big believer in uh, the message of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and he believes in nonviolent resistance as the way to go. Now they didn't, they actually didn't physically hurt anybody and nobody did as a result of this regardless of, the, of what the right will say. But even though that's the case, still the rhetoric is not helping. The rhetoric is going to lead to demonization, further demonization from the right. Now they're going to demonize either way. But this gives them more merit when they demonize you guys, and then it ends up uh, being counterproductive, and it puts us further away from our goals. So, we've spoken about it, I've completely denounced it, but let's keep everything in perspective. Sean Hannity is using that to smear the entire movement and act like that's what they're about, like they have a policy platform that says, uh, kill cops, fry them like bacon. All in agreement, say aye. That's made up. That's simply not true. We can condemn individuals. We can condemn things we don't like or tactics of the Black Lives Matter movement. And I do. But the movement itself, they're very specific and very clear about what they're in favor of. Sean, let me fill you in, buddy. So Campaign Zero, which is their main thing, they're in favor of ending broken windows policing having community oversight of cops to make sure that they don't get away with sometimes literally murder. They want to limit the use of force, so they want to, you know, demilitarize the cops to some extent, and they want to redo training, and they actually go on to explain that here too. They want to independently investigate and prosecute when a cop does something wrong, because right now, many prosecutors are buddies with the cops, so when the cops do something wrong, whoops, no punishment, isn't that amazing? They want community representation, body cameras, and to film the police so that we can prevent more abuse. They want new training, and uh, an end to for-profit policing, so we stop locking people up for no good reason, demilitarization, like I said, and they want fair police union contracts where the job is still protected, but if they happen to do a horrendous crime, they don't stay on or get transferred to another department. Only the most reasonable list ever. It's so fucking reasonable, I'd go further. I don't know why they didn't add stuff about the drug war, because the drug war is the new Jim Crow, and it's racist. So... That's totally fair, and this is what they're about. This is why they're protesting. It's not just me saying it. They're saying it. They released all this stuff, but you ignore it. And what did you do? You compared them to the fucking KKK. You compared them to the KKK. Sean, let me ask you a question. How many people has Black Lives Matter killed? I can't hear you, buddy. Speak up. Oh, that's right, I can't hear you because you don't have a fucking response to that because you know the answer is bupkis. Zero. Nada. Nothing. Zilch. So I take it you're going to do a, a segment where you correct yourself and you come out today and you say, it wasn't a fair comparison. They've killed nobody. How many people has the KKK killed? Do you know the answer to that? I don't know the answer to that, but I'm asking, do, do you? It's a lot. You do know lynchings were a regular occurrence in the American South often orchestrated by the KKK, who had political power. If you don't believe me on that, it, it's much worse than, than 
even I originally thought, when you look this stuff up, the KKK was doing rallies in Washington, D.C. with thousands of people in like the 1920s and the 19-teens. No, this was a very powerful organization, and they did lynchings on a regular basis. People used to take their fucking... White families would take their picnic baskets, bring their kids, sit down and laugh it up and have a jovial time while they hung N-words. And they would, you know, ha ha ha, laugh, oh, isn't it great? We're ver uh, murderous, vicious assholes here. Genocidal pricks. How many people were lynched in America? How many people did the KKK kill? Now, today, even, what is the KKK? At best, and I'm being too kind here, it's a hate group, a hate organization. At worst, what are really a terrorist organization. You know, right up there with neo-Nazis, uh, right up there with various uh, Muslim fundamentalist organizations that are terrorist organizations that believe in jihad. That, that's what this is. What, you think it's different because they're white? <laughs> and they're, they want to do violence in the name of racism? In the name of a far right-wing ideology? Get the fuck out of here. Don't be ridiculous. So, it, it, what an, a ridiculous comparison. The whole point of the KKK was hate and inequality and segregation and dominance. The whole point of Black Lives Matter is the opposite. The whole point of Black Lives Matter is, hey, let's make it equal. Now, Sean might say that's not true. Then why do, don't they say all lives matter? Because, Sean, that's fucking implied. That's the whole point, is of course they believe all lives matter. But right now there's a disparity and black lives aren't treated equally. So it's about bringing them up to be equal. That's what it's about. They act like Black Lives Matter really believes, like, no, I'm fine with, let's do a white genocide or some shit. Not true, you made it up. The response, all lives matter, is like when somebody says, hey, you know, in America, we shouldn't have done segregation against black people, that's fucked up. And it's a defensive response where you go, we, no, no, we shouldn't do segregation against white people either. Shouldn't do segregation against all people. There. No, but see, that's, a, a silly person says that. Somebody who's trying to not agree with the other point says that. And that's the problem, is that when you object to Black Lives Matter, what you're really saying is, uh, do they? I don't know, I'm just throwing it out there. So it's, that's the problem. And what you're doing is a full false equivalence. Black, Black Lives Matter has killed nobody. They're very clear that they want productive policy solutions. The KKK is a vicious, vicious racist hate group slash terrorist organization that wants segregation, domination, and inequality. Nothing like Black Lives Matter.